Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Decentralized Chain, the channel where we break down crypto for people to understand and interview founders and experts in the space. I'm your host, Feroz, and today I'm going to take a deeper look into the Polkadot ecosystem, which is one of the most promising and ambitious projects in the crypto space. Now, Polkadot is a blockchain platform that connects other blockchains, allowing them to communicate and exchange value with each other. This is huge because it means that Polkadot can enable interoperability between different blockchains, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and many more. But why is interoperability so important? Well, think about it. Right now, we have hundreds of blockchains, each with their own features, use cases, and communities, but they are mostly isolated from each other, meaning that they can't easily interact or transfer data or assets. And this limits the potential of the blockchain ecosystem and creates inefficiencies and friction. Polkadot solves this problem by creating a, a network of networks where blockchains can plug into Polkadot and become part of a larger, more powerful system. Polkadot acts as a layer zero meta protocol, which means that it provides a framework for creating and connecting blockchains without imposing any specific rules or requirements on them. And this is the first of many videos that I plan to dig into the Polkadot ecosystem and explore its various projects and innovations. But before I do that, it makes sense to talk about the initial platform and how it works. If you want to learn more about Polkadot and how it works, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, Polkadot has four core components. Relay chain. This is the heart of Polkadot, where the network security, consensus, and cross-chain communication happens. The relay chain is secured by validators who stake DOT, the native token of Polkadot, to participate in the network and earn rewards. Parachains. These are independent blockchains that connect to the relay chain and benefit from its security and interoperability. Parachains can have their own tokens, logic and governance and can be optimized for specific purposes, such as smart contracts, identity, gaming, oracles, you kind of get the point. Para threads, these are similar to para chains, but with more flexible and economical connectivity. Para threads can pay as they go rather than leasing a slot on the relay chain, which makes them more suitable for low traffic or occasional use cases. Bridges, these are special parachains or para threads that connect Polkadot to external blockchains such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, allowing them to interact and exchange value with the Polkadot network. One of the most exciting features of Polkadot is that it's designed to be scalable, fast and adaptable and Polkadot can process thousands of transactions per second by spreading the workload across multiple parallel chains. Now, Polkadot can also upgrade itself without hard forks by using on-chain governance and forkless upgrades. This means that Polkadot can evolve and adapt to the changing needs and demands of the crypto community without disrupting the network or splitting the community. Polkadot is also preparing to launch its next major upgrade, Polkadot 2.0, which will introduce a new concept called core time. Now, core time is a way of allocating the resources of the relay chain to the parachains based on the demand and supply of the network. So instead of auctioning off slots for parachains, Polkadot 2.0 will allow parachains to purchase time on the relay chain using DOT as the payment method. This will create a more dynamic and efficient market for parachain connectivity and will also increase the utility and value of the DOT token. Polkadot is not only a groundbreaking project, but also a highly respected and influential one. Many other projects in the crypto space are using Polkadot's technology, such as Substrate, which is a framework for building custom blockchains that are compatible with Polkadot. For example, Cardano, one of the biggest competitors of Polkadot, has recently announced that they will use Substrate to create their own parachains 
and connect to Polkadot. Now this shows that Polkadot's technology is sought after and trusted by the industry leaders and that Substrate has the potential to expand across Web3 and its ease of use for other chains and ecosystems. So what do you think about Polkadot? Are you excited about its vision and its potential? Do you own any DOT tokens? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know what other projects on Polkadot you would like me to dive into. I'm curious to hear your thoughts and suggestions and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who might be interested in learning more about crypto and blockchain. Until next time, this is Feroz from Decentralized Chain signing.